Today I would like to show you our new Neefield approach with this uh, pedaling or software noise image together. We can map intensity, velocity and pressure. Today I would like to show you an example on two speakers uh, with a couple of uh, sound sources. In this case they are coherent, which we would normally not be able to separate with beamforming. Uh, what you see here on the display is we have the channel data up here the spectrogram on the side, the mapping of the two speakers and here the frequency on the bottom. The display goes from 0 to 1500 Hz so you will see how the source moves around in the spectrum. Okay, let's try first 300 Hz coherent sources and you see it works pretty well. I can also take the sound source back and you see that when I move the sound source to the back side there's no influence to the mapping so you're really only looking at your sound source the object and from the back side there's no influence okay let's try this with lower frequencies uh, maybe 100 Hertz Now we have 100 Hz, there's only a little bit coming from the speakers and we also have the subwoofer. That's what I'm going to try next, the subwoofer and then we go to 50 and 30 Hz. For that I deattach the speakers so we really only have the subwoofer. Here's our cute little subwoofer and for that I will try to map 50 Hz first. No. And for that I might take out the array and you see very nicely the speaker on the side and the subwoofer hole which is here, that's what you see. If I turn around the, the object We can clearly see the sources. Let's see how low we can go. Let's try this with a little lower frequency. Let's try 30 hertz. You already see that's also possible. Not very audible for this microphone, but for the microphone array. And you see even that is uh, easy to identify the different sources on the object. Okay, I hope this gained some interest. If you like, please contact us uh, on our website you'll find in the text. Okay, thank you very much.